Hello everybody, our topic for today is indices. It's Anand here. Now to start with, what are indices? Now this is a concept which we should be familiar and we have been exposed to right during our school stages. But let's do a recap of what we have in terms of indices. Now say something you have like 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now we are multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the same as telling 2 raised to 5. On the contrary, suppose you say 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, you write it as 2 into 5. Now, in this case, when you're multiplying a number by itself n number of times, then we write this number as a number raised to n. So, this is what we call as a concept of indices. This is basically multiplication of term. So, of course, in this 2 raised to 5, for example, 2 would be called the base and the number of times 2 is multiplied with itself is called the index and indices, of course, since it's a concept, you take the plural into account, hence we call this. So, it's a base raised to an index and the final number that is 32 is called the fifth power of 2. So, 32 itself is the power. So, it's simple concept. 32 is the fifth power of 2. 5 is the index and 2 is the base. So, this is a basic concept of indices. Quite different from adding a number by itself n number of times. When you add a number by itself n number of times, it is just n into the number. When you multiply a number by itself n number of times, it is the number raised to so this is what is the concept of indices. Now let's see what we have in store further in the whole concept of indices. So we're going to start with what are indices, a brief idea of what it is we had. Then we will be taking up the laws of indices. Laws are very important because we need to apply them and what are the various concepts. And all these laws are derived from basic understanding of the concept of multiplying a number by itself many times. Next, we have understanding the laws by way of using the laws in simple problems. And then we'll be taking up problems, a wide variety of problems, applying the same formulae. All the various laws that we have learnt about indices, we shall be using these formulae. So let's go ahead and check what we have. 